Supinated foot. This is another good question. Everyone gave good questions this month. So I always get like you guys come up with things I didn't even think about. So this is another good question. What's the best way to get a high arch to stretch properly when you say you need to get your arch down to the ground? I'm like thinking about all the videos I've made where I've said, like, get your arch down to the ground. So first of all, no one's going to get their arch down to the ground. And I'm kicking myself that I probably have said that more than a few times in a video. Uh, but what I mean is that most people are supinated. So their foot is totally turned and resting on the outside. And so my logic is, is that we need to overcorrect for that. So if I tell you to get your arch down, I'm really thinking that if you think that or visualize that in your head, you're going to get it neutral. So that's a huge error on my part. Our arches are never going to touch the ground, but I'm giving you a visual that like, if you think about getting that arch down, then you're the forces are going to be in the direction that's going to flatten that foot out and get it out of supination. So what I would say in this case is look at your other side. Your only real goal is to get it to look like your other foot. So it's not arched to the floor. If you have naturally high arches, and I make this error a lot, some people are naturally supinated. So they naturally kind of walk on the outside of their feet. And sometimes I try and correct for that too much. And then I got to remember, okay, Tara, stop, look at their other foot, <laughs> and then kind of figure out how we're going to address this issue. And sometimes I even forget that. So your best thing you could do is compare everything to your other side. And that's your goal is just to get it to look as similar as possible to your other side. But that was an excellent question. If you liked that video, check out these two videos down here. If you want even more support or ideas on how to improve your overall health and movement quality, check out our gold membership program. As a member of that program, you will get access to over 300 exercises that are not here on YouTube, as well as access to our monthly live Q&A where you can get your specific questions answered. I enjoyed spending time with you all today, and I will see you here on YouTube in the next video.